Hello, and welcome to my presentation, Dimensioning and SketchUp. This is Paul Benbow, Next Wave Technology. We're a SketchUp Authorized Training Center. You can contact us easily at info at nextwavetech.com. Uh, www.nextwavetech.com is our website. Or you could call us, 919-459-2333. Okay, let's just jump right in. I've got a little project that I created. <clears throat> it's a pretty simple part. But it's kind of different part, and that's why I like it. You know, you got a little bit of contours on it. Um, you know, walls are pretty easy to dimension because you can kind of click on them. So um, I am going to do one thing. I'm just going to put a simple line in here to show one point, and then we'll look at the dimensioning tool. So the dimensioning tool is right here on the tool palette. A pretty straightforward tool. You simply click on it. It asks you to select an ang uh, edge, a curve, two points, or drag to move. So if I simply clicked on a, an edge. And as I pull it away, it knows I want that edge, and I don't have to click anything else. Um, in this example, what I really have more of is things that are not just one edge. So that's why I kind of like this example. So the dimensioning tool is current, so I'm going to simply click something on the outside, on the front. I'm going to go to the other side and click on the outside in the front. I'm going to pull my dimension out, and we see it's three feet, three and a half inches. Now maybe in this example, if you'll notice, as I move my mouse, the text always stays perpendicular to the screen, kind of like Susan does. So the text is actually part of a follow me component. Um, if I want to adjust something about this, like maybe for example, I want the text to be in inches. Well, if I wanted the text to be in inches, I'd simply go to Window, Model Info, and I would set my units to be fractional. So now as I dimension, all of my units will be only inches. So if I'm doing architectural work, feet and inches is good. In this example like this, actually just inches might be better. So I'll just dimension something else very quickly. Maybe I'll dimension the back side from here to there. And I'll zoom in a little close. There we go. And I'll pull that out. And see now it's 38 inches from outside to outside. Uh, height is pretty straightforward. It doesn't really matter. You just pick two points and it will dimension between those two points. So if I want to say, well, how tall is it? It's from here to there. And I'll pull that dimension out. So say, for example, I want to adjust something about this dimension. Maybe I want the dimension not to, to always face me. Maybe I want dots instead of arrowheads. Maybe I want the dimension line to be above, or the text to be above the dimension line. Uh, if I simply click on a dimension and right-click, I can go to NC Info, and this is the best way to adjust everything about dimensions. So I can't change the text. I'll show you that in a minute. But what I can do is I can say, I don't want you to align the screen anymore. I want you to always be outside the dimension. I want you to be above the dimension. I want you to be centered in the dimension, the text position. And do you want arrows or dots or slashes? So I like arrowheads myself. I can change the font. So if I want it to be maybe a little bigger, 14 font, I want it bold face. You know, I can do things like that. An important thing to notice is this font always stays constant, so if I tell it it's a 14 point, it never changes from a 14 point. So now I've got one dimension that's, you know, bolder and is, you know, basically locked down, and the other two are still follow me components. So now I'm going to add one more dimension just to the outside edge, the outside edge, and then we're going to talk about how to. So I'm going to click right there. And then simply go over here, and then bring that dimension up. Whoops. Do that again. There we go. <clears throat> So if I wanted to change this, and maybe I wanted to say 81 inches outside, I'd simply double click. And now I can say that's 81 inches outside. And then simply clicking white space, so now that's 81 inches outside. Um, similar to that is the leader command. So the leader command is under 
the dimension tool, that's leaders. So if I click on leader, basically anything I click on, uh, by default it will come up with the name of the component, in this case brush guard. So I simply click, now I can type this is Chrome, and then I want to click over here and say this is red. And simply clicking white space in SketchUp will take that. So now I have uh, two leaders in my drawing and about four dimensions. And what I recommend to people is to go ahead and put dimensions on their own layer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to layers. And <clears throat> it was somewhere on my desktop. There it is. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it dimensions. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> create one more layer called leader. And now I'm going to basically take my dimensions. I'm going to change the layer of these dimensions. So I'll simply select them. And I can grab two there, control key, and four. <clears throat> I'm going to right click on any dimension. I'm going to say entity info. And I'm going to simply move that to layer dimension. And then I can turn that off to verify that it did in fact work. And now I'm going to control key select those two, right click, and I'm going to move these to a layer called Leader. So Entity Info Leader. I didn't change the name of that one here, let me change it, Leader. There we go. So now I've got two entities, or rather I've got two layers, and the first one's called Leader, it has two entities. So if I turn my dimensions on, I can turn them off and on and there's my leaders. So dimensioning is super easy in SketchUp. There's not a lot of things you can adjust other than whether it doesn't follow the camera or does follow the camera. If it doesn't follow the camera, kind of where it is, very easy to override the dimension. You just double click and change what it says. Um, the only thing I would caution you on is sometimes you may need more than one dimension layer. Like for example, I'm up close on this one. Everything looks great. But if I wanted to um, have dimension layers or maybe an overall project. Notice as I wheelie mouse and zoom out. Notice how the text never changes size even though the brush guard does change size because it scales with the zoom. So many times if you get like a large building and you dimension the overall building and then you want to dimension an individual room, it might make sense to have you know a layer called close dimensions and overall dimensions and that way you can just turn one on or the other depending on what you're showing. So that's a popular workflow. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my presentation on dimensioning. And uh, let me put the splash screen back up. And my name is Paul Benbow. Please feel free to give us a call at Next Wave Technology. We're happy to help you. Thanks again.